Hi booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. Welcome to the many new people who are part of this channel. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you'll feel comfortable to leave a comment um, or an emoji in the comment section down below. You can also give this video a thumbs up just as a way of saying hello, but I just want to acknowledge you and um, I hope you enjoy my little bookish chattering on Fridays. <laughs> so uh, I have, I'm so glad it's Friday. I have been absolutely slammed at work, which January is supposed to be a busy month for me at work, but that doesn't mean that it always necessarily is. So it is nice to just be working all day long. Um, it does make the day go by a little bit faster. All right, you guys, we have to talk about Anthony Trollope. Um, and I, I realize there's gonna be a lot of Trollope videos probably until the end of March. Um, but uh, yeah, you're, I, it just is what it is. Because I didn't, I had never read any Anthony Trollope. I was not familiar with any of his, his books until I became part of BookTube. And I just heard all of these booktubers talking about Anthony Trollope. Booktubers with, with vastly different tastes. And uh, yeah, so it got me excited. One of the sheer joys of BookTube, one of the things I love so much about BookTube is A, I get to discover new authors that then I'm really excited to read. But in making a video, sometimes I'm so excited about it that it makes other people want to read it. And I've gotten a couple other comments from people about the next book they're reading by Trollope or um, they're going to give The Warden a shot, which is the first book in the Barsetshire series. And um, I'm so excited. And so anytime you need to tell me, give me an update on your Trollope reading, feel free to do so in the comment section. So I may not even be talking about Trollope, that's fine. You just tell me, tell me which one you're reading, how's it going, um, yeah, that sort of thing. So I wanted to show you my Trollope collection um, before we get into Framley Parsonage. I hope I'm saying that. People have been asking me like, oh, do you, do you think you need to read the bars? Barset Shire Chronicles in order. Um, and, you know, I, I've tried to just say, like, I just think you need to read them. <laughs> um, I don't know if you have to read them in order. I guess it depends on maybe your personality. Uh, Family, Family Parsonage was the first book where I felt like I could see I could see storylines from the other books like emerging, including um, some of the main characters in The Warden, which is the first one. The reason why I say to start off with The Warden is, and this is kind of a cheesy thing, but it's, it's tiny. It's a little, it's a little one. The rest are just chunky, chunky books. Um, but this will give you a taste of Anthony Trollope, a taste of this, uh, rural, uh, English world and uh, yeah it just it just kind of sets the sets the stage but I think it's nice to start off with something a little bit small now of course I wanted all of my books in this series to be in the same edition but that was not meant to be okay so the next book in the series is barchester towers i have the oxford um oxford world's classic edition of it um and this one is much more about uh clerical life and although there's there's elements about clerical life i think in in all the books i've read so far um just this one is it's very prominent i this one so far anyway i've read four out of six books this one is the funniest one so far um yeah like it just it's it's just hysterical and i will say 
I'm not that familiar with how the Church of England, especially in Victorian England, was structured. Like, I didn't, I don't always know, like, the difference between a deacon and an archdeacon. Um, and I just kind of rolled with it. I just, I, I mean, you know the bishop is, like, the most important person and you know who like it's it be it's very clear who's much farther down on the ladder but anyway what a great book and then after i read barchester towers for christmas the next year my husband gave me the third book in the series which is dr thorne I love this edition so much. Oh my gosh, this picture, it just, it makes me swoon. Dr. Thorne is about a doctor um, and a, a, a country, a, like an, a part of this fictional uh, county in England or area in England. Uh, and, and, you know, he only, he serves part of it and, Oh, he has, you know, differences about, I, you know, about taking care of people with compared to other doctors and that sort of thing. But, um, there's a, a incredible love story, um, in this and the introdu introduction of some characters that are going to, uh, play a part in the next book, which is the one I have just been pretty much talking about all of January. Uh, family Parsonage, and I love this cover as well. I feel like this painting was made for this novel. Like it is the perfect, it is the perfect picture of for for this book. I, it's fantastic. Um, so we're gonna come back to that one. Now the next two, um, which I, I'm gonna be starting the small house at Arlington. Um, and again, another beautiful Penguin Classic cover and a, a chunky, a chunky book. Um, and then finally, and my understanding is that I, I've, I've heard people who love um, The Last Chronicle of Barset, which is the final book in the series. Um, again, dreamy cover there. Um, I've heard people who love this one and I've heard from people who think it's, not even it's not really necessary um but it does bring my understanding is that this one brings kind of all the characters together um in one one uh book but yeah it's quite long so so these um i'm going to be reading these two books next um and the page count for that is uh, 1,530. I felt so terrible that I hadn't read any Trollope, um, last year. And I, there's so much Trollope out there. I, and I, I want to get, I want to get to more of it. I don't just want to read this series. And so my mission for the beginning of 2024 is to read these, the last three books in this series. Um, and I'm a third of the way there. So Family Parsonage is a is primarily about um Mark and Fanny Robarts. Um and Mark is a clergyman. He's quite ambitious though. Like he really wants to there there definitely is a ladder um within uh the church the church hierarchy and he wants to climb that ladder for sure. Um, his sister Lucy comes to live with them and they, uh, live right by family court where Lady Lud Lud Ludovic, God, I'm, if you're new, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. So just bear with me. Okay. Anyway, and she, um, she's a widow, but she has a son um, who ha is a also a lifelong friend of Mark, um, Reverend, Reverend Robarts, I guess maybe I should call him. Um, anyway, but they've been lifelong friends. They went to school together and, um, yeah, Lady Lud Ludovic, um, ha set, like set, set Mark up with this parsonage, um, at a, at a younger age than most, most people would get to be as, and, um, 
her daughter has a wonderful friend that she thinks would be the perfect person's wife and so uh she arranges it so that they get together and and fanny is is really wonderful um and then yeah lucy lucy shows up and people aren't quite sure what to make of her um people people uh yeah either try to make an effort to get to know her but she's she's in in grief uh for her father um when we first are introduced to her and uh, yeah, then she kind of opens up. And uh, so yeah, events unfolds from there. This is the first book in the series where I was like, oh, I'm so glad I've read the previous three books because definitely characters from those books um, are part of this. At and one point, Trollope actually says something about the hero of the book. And I was thinking, who is the hero? There are so many. Who Who is the heroine? Like, there's so many in here because there's so many different storylines and so much going on. There's quite a bit about politics in this book, which, which was a, a little bit different. And I didn't enjoy that quite as much, but I've still heard people say that this is their least favorite in the in the Barset Shire Chronicles series and they still love it, right? So it's like, like the least among like you know six great great books um and i really did enjoy it i i'm not sure i enjoyed it quite as much as dr thorne i love the way trollope pulls himself into the story um sometimes reassures us about like what is going to happen in in dr thorne i remember a, a part in the book where uh trollope is writing uh but don't worry like everything everything is gonna turn out okay <laughs> it's like so what a uh one of you and i talked about this book on voxer and uh that other person this book caused some anxiety in them because a a, a main one of the main uh storylines has to do with debt and mounting debt and, and, and trying to climb out of that. Um, and so I thought that was really interesting. Um, but like I said, I just, I feel, um, I trust Trollope. Maybe that's the best way to say it. I trust Trollope so much that I'm not, I'm never worried. I'm never worried about the characters. Everybody is going to, it's going to have a happy ending. And I'm not sure that that's true for all of Trollope's books. Um, but in this series, like I said, I feel very safe that the villains will get their comeuppance and, uh, you know, the people, the people who are proud will meet, be, uh, brought down a little bit. And, uh, and one of the things I did enjoy about this book is I felt like one of the main characters really like learns their lesson. And, and I think they will, go about their life in a very different manner moving forward. So I'm curious to see if if I get any of that from the next, next two books. The other thing that I've been reading, I've been talking to you guys about um, waking up at three o'clock in the morning, which unfortunately has happened a few more times. So I've been reading Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. This is my childhood copy. My mom wrote my name on the cover, um, which, anyway. So I'm gonna unhaul this book when I'm done reading it. One of you had asked me if I was gonna keep reading um, the series, the rest of the series, and I don't have the rest of the series. I don't know what happened to it. Um, they might have gone to my nieces. I'm not sure. There are some really charming things in the book, um, you know, definitely reminds you of a simpler time uh you know there's a christmas scene and the kids are like so excited because they have new mitten you know santa claus has brought them new mittens and a, a stick of peppermint <laughs> and like and that's it you know and you're just like wow it's that's um yeah but they're they they entertain themselves and uh yeah, it's just a just a very different time. Um, you know, it's it's an interesting idea to to read 
to read the rest of the books in the series, but I have, I have so many books, you guys. <laughs> I have so many books to read. Um, and I, I have my, what I'm calling my absurd TBR for 2024. And so, um, yeah, so I, I, but the nice thing, the thing that's great about this is the type font is just gigantic. I mean, and there's illustrations. So at three o'clock in the morning, it really does come in handy. I also did read a little bit more of this after I finished um, Framley Parsonage, just as a kind of a break, um, <laughs> just, just to have a, a little momentary break in uh, my trollop reading. I have another book on my nightstand right now, uh, Little Weirds by, uh, is that right? I think that's what it's called. I always forget. Uh, by Jenny Slate. And I, it has big font and the essays are quite short. I find Jenny Slate really funny though. And I'm afraid I'm going to start laughing at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I got to find a way to incorporate that book into my reading. Just not at, not at three o'clock in the morning. So I would love to know what you are reading. Um, I, I want to thank all of you who watched my absurd, <laughs> maybe that's the word for the year, absurd, my silly little vlog of the weekend. Um, I, it was so cold here. It was just bitterly, bitterly cold. And, um, it was wonderful to feel like I was somehow sharing it with you and, um, that we were experiencing experiencing it together even though I knew you wouldn't see it until after it was over <laughs> and I don't know if that makes any sense or not but uh yeah and I I got to hear I got some some really wonderful comments one of my friends is reading um the Betsy Tacy series which makes me so happy I love those books and those are like such great comfort reads if you if you like Little House on the Prairie I mean, Betsy Tacy, wow. Oh, those books are so great. And I think there's even more of them than there are of the Little House uh, books. I could be wrong about that, but um, yeah. So anyway, I'd love to know what you're reading, what's going on, Are have you been freezing cold? Some of you are experiencing summer right now. <laughs> so, um, but I'd love to know, love to hear from you down in the comments section. And if you've read this series, what's your favorite, what's your least favorite, um, book that would be awesome. Again, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, I, I do understand. Uh, I hope that that will change eventually. Um, but especially if you're new, I'd love to, I'd love to see just a little wave maybe in the comments section or, um, like I said, you can give this video a thumbs up as well. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.